Sometimes, we do a lot for the people we care about, showing them how much they mean to us. But occasionally, they let us down by taking advantage of our kindness. They might act friendly only when they want something from us, then disappear once they get it. So, how can we handle such situations better? Today, let's learn from Stoic philosophy, which has great advice for dealing with tricky relationships. By avoiding nine common mistakes, we can make positive changes in how we relate to others and feel more confident in ourselves. If you're struggling in your relationships, sit down and let's learn together. But before we start, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss our next lessons. Now, let's get started. Number one, don't reshape yourself to fit in with others. Picture this, you're trying to solve a puzzle, but the pieces just don't fit no matter how hard you try. It's frustrating and confusing, right? That's exactly how it feels when you bend over backward to meet others' expectations. As Seneca wisely put it, everywhere means nowhere. Trying to please everyone all the time leaves you feeling lost and unsure of yourself. Instead of blending in like a chameleon, it's time to stand out like a bright star in the night sky. Embrace who you are and what makes you unique. Don't let others dictate the course of your life. It's time to take the reins and chart your own path. Remember, your life is your own story to tell, not someone else's. So, let your true self shine through and paint the world with your authenticity and purpose. Number two, don't invest too much time in them. Don't invest all your precious time into someone else's bottomless well of need. It's like tossing your most valuable asset into a dark abyss. Every moment excessively devoted to them is a moment of your life slipping away forever. Time is your greatest treasure, not a bargaining chip in someone else's endless demands. As Seneca wisely observed, it is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. By surrendering all your time to someone else, you're forfeiting the most vibrant moments of your existence. Reclaim your time. It belongs to you alone, not to anyone else. Don't allow them to overshadow your entire life. Seek equilibrium. Invest your time thoughtfully. Cherish it and allocate it to endeavors that ignite your passion, foster growth, and bring you fulfillment. Remember, you wield authority over your own time. Don't fritter it away on someone who may not value its significance. Number three, don't push friends or family away for someone else. Don't distance yourself from your friends and family just because you're infatuated with someone else. It's like cutting off branches from the tree that supports you. Each friend and family member is like a branch that's always been there to help you. If you start pushing them away, it's not just about losing friends. You're also weakening the support system that's been there for you. As Seneca wisely noted, friendship always benefits. Love sometimes injures. When you isolate yourself from your loved ones just to seek approval from someone else, you're choosing a difficult path. Take the initiative to rekindle those significant relationships and nurture your support system. Your friends and family form an irreplaceable network that serves as your bedrock and source of strength. Embrace the steadfast companions who have stood by you through thick and thin. Number four, don't let anything harm your mental health or happiness. Prioritizing someone else's happiness over your own mental well-being is like giving away your flashlight in the dark, leaving yourself stumbling and lost. When you neglect your own health to cater to someone else's needs, you're essentially surrendering control of your own happiness. Instead of finding fulfillment, you end up in a cycle of trying to please them while your own spirits plummet. It's crucial to take a step back and reclaim ownership of your life. Your mental health and happiness are invaluable assets that shouldn't be compromised or traded away. Rather than playing a supporting role in someone else's narrative, Seize the spotlight and become the protagonist of your own story. Protect your inner peace and joy with unwavering determination. Strengthen your resilience and refuse to let anyone steal your happiness. Your mind belongs to you alone. You have the power to shape your own destiny. Number five, 
Don't ruin your life by being too obsessed with someone. Don't let your life orbit solely around others like a satellite stuck in space. When you focus too much on someone else, it's easy to lose sight of your own dreams and what makes you special. Instead of nurturing your own goals and aspirations, you find yourself constantly catering to their needs and desires, leaving your own sense of fulfillment neglected. As the wise Marcus Aurelius once said, Nowhere can a man find a quieter or more untroubled retreat than in his own soul. When you become too entangled in someone else's world, it disrupts your balance, casting you into the shadows and stripping away your sense of worth. It's time to break free from their hold and stop being a mere satellite to their planet. Your life isn't a supporting act in someone else's story. You're the lead role, the star of your own journey. Always remember that and never let anyone dim your brilliance. Number six, don't disclose everything about your past, especially the tough times. Revealing your entire journey to someone is like unraveling every hidden aspect and challenge you've faced. Your past, particularly the difficult parts, is deeply personal. It's the narrative of your own journey that helped you navigate through tough times. It's not something to lay bare for others to derive pleasure from or pass judgment on. Discussing all your past secrets means you're revisiting old challenges, making yourself vulnerable to potential harm or exploitation. Keep your secrets securely held within yourself. Not everyone deserves access to them. Only disclose what is necessary while safeguarding the core elements of your narrative. This fortifies you and ensures your protection. Don't relinquish your defenses to someone else. Exercise caution in choosing whom to confide in. Your life story belongs exclusively to you. It's not for others to casually revel in. Number seven, don't be controlled by the fear of solitude. Making decisions driven by fear especially the fear of being alone, is like choosing a path blindly, stumbling through the darkness without a guiding light. When you let fear dictate your choices, you may end up in places you never intended to go. It's crucial to recognize that solitude doesn't equate to loneliness. As the great philosopher Aristotle once remarked, knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Take the opportunity to delve into the depths of your being embracing and celebrating your unique essence. Spend quality time with yourself, appreciating your own company, and discovering the richness within. By cultivating a deep connection with yourself, you lay the foundation for authentic relationships. When you choose to share your life with someone, it's not out of desperation to avoid solitude, but rather because they complement and enhance your existence. Value your own worth, and resist the temptation to let fear dictate your decisions. Embrace the journey of self-discovery, illuminated by the beacon of courage, and let it guide you towards a future filled with fulfillment and genuine connections. Number eight, don't agree simply to satisfy others. When you agree to do things you don't enjoy, you're betraying your own happiness. It's like trading your beloved hobbies for ones that don't ignite any passion. As Marcus Aurelius wisely advised, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. So, when you find yourself compelled to act against your true desires, it's natural to feel a growing sense of discontentment, as if you're straying from your own path. But it's time to break free from this cycle of people-pleasing. Instead of always saying yes, it's empowering to embrace the liberating magic of no, reclaiming ownership of your time and choices. Remember, life isn't a stage where you're obligated to perform for others' approval. It's about authenticity, about staying true to yourself, even when it's challenging. Listen to your heart. If something doesn't feel right, have the courage to step away. Your life is your own story to write, not merely a subplot in someone else's narrative. You're the protagonist, the hero of your journey. It's time to seize the spotlight and live on your own terms. Number nine, don't forget to celebrate even small wins. In the whirlwind of life, it's easy to get lost in the shuffle of pleasing others and meeting their expectations. However, amidst all this, 
We often overlook our own accomplishments and victories. But here's the thing. Every step we take forward, regardless of how small it may seem, deserves recognition and celebration. Imagine you're on a journey, and with each step, you're moving closer to your destination. Now, think about all those little milestones along the way. They're like signposts of your progress, markers of your resilience and determination. As Epictetus wisely noted, never depend on the admiration of others. So let's pause to revel in our efforts and achievements. Let's cherish the late nights, the sweat, and the doubts we've conquered. Each success, big or small, is a testament to our strength and resilience. So let's embrace them, relish them, and let them remind us of the magnitude of our journeys. Life isn't solely about reaching a destination. It's about relishing every twist and turn, every victory and setback. Let's toast to our journey, celebrating our victories, and finding joy in every moment along the way. As we wrap up our journey today, let's dive into the power of your choices and the beauty of embracing your true self. You've got the strength and wisdom to make decisions that truly resonate with your heart, even if they might not align with what everyone else expects. Picture this. Your life is like a canvas, and you hold the brush to paint it with your own unique colors. Now, as you navigate the twists and turns of life's roller coaster, remember to nurture your own inner virtues, like wisdom, courage, fairness, and self-restraint. These qualities aren't just fancy words. They're the building blocks of a deeply fulfilling life. Think of them as your secret sauce for a life well-lived. As the wise Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This is your reminder that you have the power to choose your response to life's challenges, no matter how tough they may seem. So, when you feel the pressure to conform, to give away your time, or to share more than you're comfortable with, remember, you're the captain of your own ship. You get to chart your course, regardless of what others say. It's like Seneca said, to be everywhere is to be nowhere. Don't lose yourself trying to please everyone else. Now, imagine yourself stepping into your full power, owning your uniqueness, and crafting a life that truly reflects who you are. It's like Marcus Aurelius once said, very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. And hey, if you've enjoyed our journey today, and you're hungry for more insights and inspiration, hit that subscribe button, join our community of fellow seekers, and let's continue this journey together. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's spark a conversation that ignites personal growth and deeper understanding. Thank you for being part of this adventure toward resilience and embracing the stoic mindset. Until next time, stay curious, stay resilient, and keep shining your unique light.